What's up, Slayers? Today I'm gonna show you guys how we mount one of these Unirac roof-mounted junction boxes. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hammer and find between the rafters. You wanna mount your box between rafters. You can go ahead and pop the lid off. It comes with four decking screws and two extra screws for a den rail. Uh, it comes with a little lip, and you're gonna pry one layer of shingles and slide that lip under. There are two pre-notched holes in the bottom for your conduit to come in. I'm using a three-quarter spin on flex connector. I'm dry fitting the box and marking where my hole is going to go. Then go ahead and drill the hole into the attic using my bridge port spin on flex connector and bonding lock nut. Make sure you get that on tight. And After that this comes with a channel on the bottom, an injection port, and then an exit port on the far side. Um, so when you fill it, uh, it fills the whole channel and then you know by it coming out of the injection port on the other side that it worked. I like to pre-fill mine, especially when my geo is cold, that way I know that it's completely sealed underneath. Make sure you put your screws in before you fill the channel with caulk because you want to make sure the box is held down and doesn't lift up while you're injecting caulk into it. Go ahead and start squirting until you see it come out the far side. Once you see it come out the far side, I like to put an extra bead of caulk around the outside edges of it just to give it some extra protection. Then it's time for our strain relief. In this box, you can go into the sides or the bottom. I'm doing the side just as an example. Make sure you get that tight. And then pop the lid back on. And this box is just held down with one Phillips head screw. And that's it. And here's a look from inside the attic of our spin on flex connector. And that is a Unirac roof mounted junction box.